Hey guys, Jake here. Thanks for watching Up the Wanderer with me today. This is going to be part one of a three part series on uh, who and what my dogs are. For those of you who don't know, this is Gus. Angus is his official name. Actually, his official name is Stony Brook Gordon Setter's Angus. Uh, he is a two year old Gordon Setter that I got from down in North Carolina. He was born on April Fools and he's been my problem child ever since. Probably chill. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for him, I had to drive down to North Carolina and pick him up from a breeder named Stephen Faust who has been one of the best breeders I've ever worked with. Um, granted, I've only worked with two, but he was fantastic, and this dog has just been everything you could ask for or more right from the start. Wow. It was a long drive. I think I was in my truck for about 25 hours uh, continuously. <sighs> Shouldn't have done it, but you know what? It was COVID time and I had nothing else to do. So ran down, grabbed him, came back. And luckily he had about his first six months or so I had him were during COVID time and I was laid off for eight months and it was perfect. Perfect time to have a puppy. So if you often get laid off right before you get a puppy, I recommend it. It's fantastic. You get so much training done. Um, I started him out right away. I was working with a trainer named Tracy Liskey at Mimo's Farm up in Everett, Michigan. And I started taking him there right from day one. And I started guiding there. When this guy was just, I think about mm, four months old, my other dog, my old, my old Gordon, Fiona, she got tired and gassed. It was a hot day, and I hadn't taken Gus out guiding yet. But you know what? He was showing so much initiative. I said, "Hey, would you guys mind if I bring him out?" Uh, people I was with, working with, they said, "No, no problem. Let's see what he's got." And this guy came out and he just started nailing points and holding and just finding retrieves that we thought were lost birds for sure. I mean he had the longest, some of the longest tracks were on his very first day and it was extremely impressive and he's been impressing me ever since and so he's kind of jumped up. He's kind of my number one dog at this point just because he is the youngest so he has the most energy by far and he just does really really well with it. Uh, I get asked all the time what's a Gordon Setter, and uh, this is a Gordon Setter. They look like most other Setters you see with long, fluffy hair. They get stuck to burrs all the time. All the time. But they were supposedly created by the Duke of Gordon in Scotland. And I just love them. This is my second one. And I just, I can't get enough of them. I don't know. They have a weird personality. They're trouble. They're big troublemakers. But I like them. And they're really good bird dogs. They're very birdy. But yeah, this is Gus. This is Gus of her story, and you're going to see a lot more of them. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, and subscribe. That'll keep you up to date. Keep you going on everything else I'm bringing out. The season's right around the corner, so we'll be doing some really good stuff here soon. Oh yeah. If you like seeing Gus and his antics, stick with us guys. Thanks for watching. We get out of here? Alright, let's get out of here.